Earth's moon was formed around 4.6 billion years ago, and it's always in synchronous rotation with Earth, which means that we will always see the same side of the moon. The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first man landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet, along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very extensively mapped out by the little spacecraft Clementine, and again in 1999 by the Lunar Prospector. In recent years, there has been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. Recently, NASA scientists have come forward and said that they've discovered something interesting about our moon. They have said that it's shrinking and shaking. They have said that their studies have shown that the inside of the moon has shriveled up, and that deep cliffs can be found all over its surface. These cliffs are also thought to be quite deep. What's interesting is that this recent study suggests the moon could still be shrinking. The researchers have also come forward and said that the moon's surface crust is very brittle, and due to the moon shrinking it's starting to break the surface. One of the senior scientists at NASA said the following about this discovery. Our analysis gives the first evidence that these faults are still active, and likely producing moonquakes today as the moon continues to gradually cool and shrink. Some of these quakes can be fairly strong, around 5 on the richer scale. The scientists have also been using high detailed images to discover other faults. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter camera has snapped over 3,500 images, and these have helped scientists to understand what's going on on the surface of the moon. Some photographs in particular have shown them some bright patches and scrapes on certain terrains. These small details are showing the researchers that recent quakes have been happening on the moon. These moonquakes can last up to an hour, and have been known to send boulders rolling down cliff slopes. One researcher said that around 20 to 30% of the moonquakes were most likely generated by built up energy from these faults, and that they didn't think this happened from naturally occurring space debris like asteroids. NASA scientists have said they're keeping a close eye on the seismic shaking. This recent discovery was published in the journal Nature Geoscience. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.